A lot of people are going to get their boats out on the water this Memorial Day weekend, and the Coast Guard wants to make sure that people stay safe. Todd Hicks is live in the newsroom. Todd? Well, Mike, it's not even summer yet, and over the last two week, or over the last week, rather, two boats have gone down. Now, incredibly, no one was hurt, and the Coast Guard wants to keep it that way over this long holiday weekend. It's a tragedy on the waters of Lake Michigan this holiday weekend the Coast Guard is trying to prevent. Sir, yeah. how you doing? This is Officer Pair of the United States Coast Guard. Vessels like this one will be conducting inspections and looking for boaters who've had too much to drink. What I'm going to have you do first is get a uh, driver's license out and a boater registration card. The crackdown comes during National Safe Boating Week. One of the most important items are flotation devices for everyone on board. So it is Coast Guard approved. These only count if you are wearing them, so which you are. And the Coast Guard is going high tech. This newly released app spells out the rules and regulations on your smartphone. You can type in the size of your vessel and where you're going to be operating, and it brings up all the required safety gear that you're supposed to have on board your boat. The app even has an emergency assistance button that'll send a call for help. And if you hit the button on it, anywhere where you are in the United States, it'll bring to the closest Coast Guard. There were more than 600 fatalities on the nation's waterways last year, a number the Coast Guard is looking to reduce with this proactive approach. All right, have a good Memorial Day weekend, guys. All right, stay safe. And that new app, by the way, has been years in the making and is free to download. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much, Todd.